I really do try not to bore you folks with every random troll that happens on social media, but this last one by Rand Paul is so perfect that I had to share it. We'll get to Tucker here in a minute. As we discussed a couple of days ago, and you've no doubt heard either way, a massive disaster is underway in East Palestine, Ohio, after a train derailment that led to a massive explosion and mushroom cloud that spread chloride for miles around the crash site. Despite the seriousness of the situation, though, the Biden administration has been hesitant to provide federal relief. More of that white privilege, I'm sure. Anyways, Rand Paul has come up with a brilliant solution for that. He tweeted out, I mean, it's worth a shot. Ohio's governor after Biden denies his request for disaster assistance. Brilliant. The best jokes include just a little bit of truth, right? Biden recently pledged to secure pensions for workers in Ukraine for reasons that I can't quite fathom. <clears throat> you know, it's one thing to fool yourself into providing military weapons to help supposedly diminish Russia's military power. That's comical. It's quite another to turn Ukraine into a vassal state whereby United States taxpayers are forced to pay the salaries of civilian workers. Biden has also pushed for funding to rebuild infrastructure in the war-torn nation. It's really too bad he doesn't understand that Russia will effectively own that country in a few short months. Meanwhile, Ohio has had to pull teeth to get the White House to even provide FEMA assistance to a historically bad environmental disaster. Those priorities seem just a bit out of whack, even for the clown brigade currently running D.C. Someone can support helping Ukraine if they like, but it shouldn't be more difficult to get help for American citizens than it is for a foreign country. For his part, Paul has been consistently against foreign aid, so his poking fun at Biden and Zelensky is firmly on brand, and hey, it's probably not a bad idea if only our elites cared as much about Americans as they do their foreign endeavors. Okay, now on to the Tucker story. Earlier this month, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy promised to release all the footage of the January 6th riots, the Capitol, to the public. Quote, I think the public should see what happened on that day, McCarthy said of the footage. Quote, I watched what Nancy Pelosi did where she politicized it for the first time in history as a speaker, not allowing the minority to appoint to a committee. We watched the politicization of this. I think the American public should actually see what happened instead of a reporter that's writing on a political basis. Unquote. So it would appear that McCarthy has handed thousands of hours of January 6th footage to the one and only Tucker Carlson and his team. But at this time, only Carlson seems to have access to it. According to Axios, or an Axios source, the Carlson team was given 14,000 hours of footage, though reporter Mike Allen reported he's been told there's far more content than that. Carlson's team is reported to be looking over the footage, as you're hearing this. This from Axios, quote, Carlson TV producers were on Capitol Hill last week to begin digging through the trove, which includes multiple camera angles from all over Capitol grounds. Excerpts will begin airing in the coming weeks, unquote. Quote, there was never any legitimate reason for this footage to remain secret, Tucker Carlson told Allen. Quote, if there was ever a question that's in the public's interest to know, it's what actually happened on January 6th, he added. Quote, By definition, this video will reveal it. It's impossible for me to understand why any honest person would be bothered by that. Unquote. Carlson has been a massive skeptic of the Democrats' claims surrounding the January 6th riot, and he's spent a good deal of time addressing the holes in the left's narratives surrounding the event. This has naturally been met with fury and derision by mainstream news outlets and leftist organizations like the ADL. To be sure, the Democrats have attempted to use the January 6th riot as a political tool to paint Republicans as insurrectionists and people who question Democrat narratives as truthers. Of course, all of this while developing narratives around very select pieces of footage. Carlson's team having access to this footage will definitely allow for counter-arguments to be made. However, it's unclear 
that his team has exclusive access. We'll likely see footage released from Carlson and his team over the course of the next few weeks, and you shouldn't be surprised if an entire special is created on the side that will air on Fox Nation. Lastly, it's currently unclear if McCarthy will release the footage to the general public after Carlson's team is done with it. But one thing is for sure. The Democrats will be going into a full-on crisis mode, and like a cornered blue-haired activist, it's going to lash out as Carlson begins airing footage that casts the Democrat Party's narrative surrounding the events into question. Now, McCarthy pulling a play right out of Elon Musk's playbook is smart. In fact, it's brilliant. Give the footage to a reputable reporter to go into detail on before the other side gets started with all their smoke and mirror stuff. Very well played. Very well played indeed. I don't know about you folks, but I will be waiting with popcorn because this is going to get real fun. Most of this came by way of a redstate.com. If you'd like to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. There's a PayPal link in the description box, so please put a dollar in the bucket on the way out the door. I'd like to thank everyone for all your donations. They're much needed and much appreciated. Now, with all that being said, we'll see you next time. Come on, move! Move! Easy, easy!